G'day everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to look at uh, creating some geometry, but we're going to look at using some driven dimensions here. So you'll kind of see what I mean uh, when I get into this. Uh, again, talking about design intent also. So let me just start things off. I'm actually, uh, let's say I'm, I'm here, I'm in my kind of 3D. I'm going to choose, in this case, the front view that I want to sketch on. I'm going to pick up my sketcher. Here I am, and we'll start a sketch just about here. Let's go. Here we go. Right. I'm going to draw something that kind of looks like an L shape. So this is, uh, you can imagine a, a, a piece of angle. Um, all right. Let's throw some dimensions on here. Now, here's my, my intent. My intent is that each of these two, two sides here, they're always going to be equal. Okay, so I'm going to throw a dimension there, and we're going to make that 120. And I'm going to click on this side here to put a dimension on here. And right now you can see that it's 87.17 mil. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, hey, this dimension should always be the same as this dimension because it's going to be driven by this, whatever this number is. So I'm going to click on, on 120 there and you'll see that it's actually come up with a driven dimension. Um, and then I can just hit enter. And now you will see this one says 120. Uh, and this one tells me that there's a function going on. There's actually a, a driven number there also at 120. So that's good. Because what that really means now is that if I was to ever change this value, so scenario could be um, they've come back to you and perhaps they've had to change uh, the bracket size in order to bring down weight or something like that or to lower costs or whatever it may be. We might be able to get away with this bracket only being maybe 100 millimeters long. Or watch what happens to the other one. Boom. 100 100. All right, let's do the same with the actual thickness of the object also. So I'm just going to put a dimension on this side here. Uh, and I'm going to say that this is uh, 6 mil. And on this side here, we'll put a dimension. We can see it's currently 20 millimeters. But again, I want the intent of this to be that it's always going to be 6 mil. So I'm going to click on the 6 there hit enter, there it is. Now, so we can see these two dimensions here, both FX, basically telling us that it's a driven dimension, there's a function actually taking place. So I can always change, let's say they come back, they say, hey, six mil is uh, not thick enough, we need to beef that material up a little bit. Okay, um, we can then make it maybe eight millimeters and the beauty is everything will adjust. And again, I can go and change this value maybe to 60 and everything adjusts so that's a little bit of information about driven dimensions so if you've got, kind of got um, here's another example that I'll do for you uh, here's a circle uh, you might have another circle over here let me throw a dimension on this one let's say that's 30 millimeters diameter and this other hole or circle sorry here which is currently 27 millimeters, we're gonna say, you're always gonna be the same as this master here, if you like. And I'm just gonna hit enter. So now, whenever I wanna change this value, maybe it's gonna be 15, the other will change also. So it's a really useful thing. Now, you don't really wanna change this here. You're gonna change it by changing the master that drives this one, okay? So I can double click on that. We can, might say it's gonna be 25 millimeters, bang. Uh, all right, so that's a, a little bit about driven dimensions. Hopefully that make, made sense and uh, it might, might save you some time in your future drawings and models. All right, I'll see you in the next video.